Have you ever wondered how a remote area can transform into a hub of groundbreaking innovation? Just a decade ago, the site now known as Starbase was among the most remote places in the U.S. Today, thanks to SpaceX's development, it has transformed remarkably. This change is largely due to SpaceX's construction of a spaceport for producing, testing, and launching their Starship rocket. The launch tower at Starbase stands as more than just a launch platform for the Starship rocket. Its innovative design includes mechanized arms, known as Mechazilla, which are not only engineered for stacking the rocket, but also for the groundbreaking task of catching the rocket boosters upon their return. The tower's integration of such technologies places it at the forefront of space launch infrastructure. Before the development of this advanced system at Starbase, most space companies typically discarded rockets after a single use. Following the second Starship test flight, it became clear that one launch tower might not be enough for SpaceX's growing needs. Construction signs for the second tower began appearing after the second flight in November 2023. By mid-December, segments for the new tower were already being transported to Starbase. Similar to the first, the second tower will consist of nine segments, standing 145 meters tall. SpaceX also dismantled suborbital Pad A, leading to speculation that this area might be the site for the new tower. The construction timeline remains uncertain, but if it starts in the first quarter of 2024, the tower could be operational by the end of 2024 or early 2025. The years 2024 and 2025 are crucial for SpaceX. SpaceX plans to conduct multiple test flights, and the increased activity will demand more from the current launch tower. Musk has set ambitious goals for SpaceX, envisioning a future where Starship launches daily and super-heavy relaunches within an hour. This brings us to the next launches of the Starship, with SpaceX targeting February for the third flight test. We all agree that the first launch on April 20th was notable event mainly for the issues it encountered. The mission faced a significant challenge with the failure of stage separation, a crucial aspect of rocket launches. This failure led to the destruction of the vehicle shortly after takeoff. Despite not achieving its intended goals, this initial flight provided SpaceX with essential data on areas needing improvement. In response to the challenges faced during the first flight, SpaceX focused on analyzing the issues, enhancing the Starship design, and improving safety measures. Specific changes included addressing the vehicle's hardware to prevent leaks and fires, and redesigning the launch pad for increased robustness. These updates aim to mitigate risks and enhance the performance for future missions. The second test flight of the Starship, conducted on November 18, 2023, was a response to the lessons learned from the first launch. This mission aimed to demonstrate a long suborbital trajectory, a step up from the previous flight. The focus was on testing the spacecraft's ability for longer flights. Of course, this second flight also had its own set of issues. As the Starship's upper stage neared the end of its burn, a critical event unfolded. According to Musk, it was the venting of liquid oxygen propellant that led to the vehicle's demise. But why did this happen? In spaceflight, every component, every action has a purpose. In this case, the venting was necessary because the vehicle carried no payload. Without the additional mass, the liquid oxygen was not entirely consumed by the Raptor engines, necessitating its release. Musk explained that the vented liquid oxygen ultimately led to a fire and an explosion. This unexpected interaction between the vented propellant and the vehicle's other systems highlights the intricacies of spacecraft design and the unforeseen challenges that can arise even from routine procedures. Musk's confidence in the Starship's potential is evident, as he mentioned that the vehicle almost reached orbit and would have done so had it been carrying a payload. These test flights were particularly important because they disproved skeptics who doubted the feasibility of the Starship project. This series of events makes 2023 a historic year for SpaceX. Their accomplishments in 2023 include a record-breaking number of 96 rocket launches, excluding the two Starship test flights. This achievement surpassed the company's own record of 61 launches in 2022 and represented a significant portion of all worldwide launches for the year. Adding to this significance is the fact that it's only been two months since the last launch and SpaceX is already preparing for the third flight. 
The third Starship test flight is expected to take place in February 2024. SpaceX's vice president has indicated that hardware readiness for the test flight is targeted for January, with the actual flight scheduled for February. In preparation for this third flight, SpaceX has completed static fires of both the booster and the ship. However, the company is still addressing corrective actions identified from the second Starship test flight, which took place on November 18, 2023. This flight aimed to achieve a near-orbital trajectory, re-enter the atmosphere, and make a splashdown near Hawaii. The mission faced issues post-separation. The Super Heavy booster experienced multiple engine failures during its boost-back burn and subsequently exploded. The Starship upper stage continued to fly for over eight minutes, reaching an altitude of 149 kilometers before being destroyed by its flight termination system. This outcome led to an FAA investigation and required SpaceX to implement corrective actions for future flights. An important aspect of the upcoming test flight is a demonstration of propellant transfer capabilities, a critical technology for the version of Starship that will be used for NASA's Human Landing System program. SpaceX plans to create a propellant depot in low Earth orbit, which will be filled by a series of Starship tanker launches to fuel the lunar lander Starship for its moon mission. The Vice President estimates approximately 10 Starship launches to fully fuel a tanker. This number could vary based on the performance and outcomes of the initial test flights. Looking ahead, SpaceX anticipates that Starship could land on the moon as early as 2025. Some might question why SpaceX is investing heavily in the Starship project when they already have reliable rockets like Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, while effective for current needs, have limitations in payload capacity and reusability compared to what Starship promises. Starship is designed to be fully reusable, capable of carrying larger payloads and eventually facilitating missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The ambition behind Starship is to make space travel more economical and frequent. While SpaceX leads in many areas, they are not the only player in the field. Other companies and nations have also been working on advanced rockets, though none have achieved the same level of success as SpaceX so far. For example, Blue Origin with its new Glenn rocket has been seen as a potential competitor to SpaceX's Starship. However, as of now, New Glenn has not yet completed any public test flights. Jeff Bezos expressed optimism that New Glenn could make its first ever launch by the end of 2024. However, it's uncertain if this will happen as there's no clear indication or public evidence suggesting that Blue Origin will meet this target within the specified time frame. This situation contrasts with SpaceX's Starship. Like I mentioned, Starship has already completed two launches and is actively preparing for its third. Of course, the upcoming flight's success largely depends on obtaining the necessary license from federal authorities, a process that is currently on track with the FAA. However, the company has faced challenges with FAA regulations in the past. For instance, during the December 2020 test flight of Starship SN8, SpaceX proceeded with the launch despite the FAA denying a waiver request that would have allowed SpaceX to exceed the maximum public risk allowed by federal safety regulations. This resulted in SpaceX violating the conditions of its launch license. Following this incident, the FAA required SpaceX to conduct a comprehensive investigation. Given the issues encountered during the first two Starship test flights, the FAA might intensify its scrutiny for SpaceX's next attempt. The first flight resulted in an explosion, and the second, despite achieving some goals, also ended with the vehicle being destroyed. While the FAA may introduce more stringent requirements for SpaceX to obtain a launch license for their next Starship test flight, it's our hope that these challenges won't significantly delay the rocket's launch. And we have to admit that strict regulations in the aerospace industry in the U.S., such as those enforced by the FAA, may affect its global competitiveness. Countries like China, with potentially less stringent regulations, are making significant strides in space exploration, including plans for a moon base. There's a growing concern that if the U.S. maintains a very stringent regulatory approach, it could lose its lead in the industry to countries with a more flexible regulatory environment. And that's all for today's update. 
If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.